Goku, Vegeta and Whis are looking at each other and the atmosphere is tense. An energy of misunderstanding hangs in the air. And Goku is furious. Goku says, We're not toys to be sent around. Once I can risk whenever the gods will so, I made up my mind. I will overcome them all and in this way I will be free. I will free all mortals. Vegeta is impressed with Goku's attitude and can't believe what he just heard but enters in the middle of discussion and says, Well, I don't really identify with Kakarot at all, but this time he's right. Whenever something happens to the gods, mortals pay the price. This cannot happen anymore. Goku then continues to say, Mr. Whis, I will leave now. And when you meet Mr. Beerus, say so. As soon, I will face him. And it will be for the last time. Goku looks at Vegeta and says, Let's go, Vegeta. Vegeta responds, don't give me orders, you insect! Vegeta touches Goku's shoulder who concentrates and teleports back to Earth. Arriving there, Goku sees Gohan and the others, and everyone runs to her Goku and Vegeta. Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, and as always, stay tuned in our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's go back to the point, shall we? But Vegeta doesn't want to hear about hugs and turns around crossing his arms and simply says, Alright, alright! Just don't come pissing me off! At this point, Gohan starts to tell about all the adventures they had while they were away. And Goku can hardly believe it all. Vegeta is surprised to hear the stories and says, I, I can't believe Bulma turned into a Super Saiyan! That's dangerous, Bulma! Bulma approaches Vegeta and says, Don't talk to your wife like that! You who disappeared and now you come with that poker face wanted to teach a moral lesson? Can you explain where you've been all this time? Vegeta then explained everything that had happened while Gohan and the others watched and listened, along with Goku. And then Bulma starts talking. Ah, oh, so it means you were prized. And you still have the nerve to fight me? You're a delinquent, Vegeta. I don't believe in such a thing. Don't come closer to me. No, no, don't come closer. No. Mm -mm. Vegeta, after being scolded by his wife, is completely embarrassed and tries to explain himself. Boba, no, it's it's not my fault. It was a it was it was Kakar's fault. This imbecile. And this discussion goes on for quite some time until Tempers begins to calm down again. And then, after explaining, Goku is extremely upset with the position of the gods and says, "Guys, we can no longer accept what the gods do." And I decided that I would travel the universes and recruit the warriors who want to face the gods with me. Ever since I got the powers of a god killer, I have doubts whether or not to face the gods. But now I've decided there's no other alternative. Gohan approaches and says, But dad, if you start fighting the gods, it could cause a war that would end all the universes. And Goku responds, I know, my son. But there's no other way. If we don't fight at some point, all the universes will suffer. There's only one choice we have. And now I have powers to stop the gods. Gohan tries to say, But dad, we should think of another one. Goku stops him and says, Don't worry, none of you need a fight. This is a journey I will walk alone. Everyone is extremely worried. And Vegeta says, Kakarot, what if no one wants to join you? Goku then responds, As I said, Vegeta, this is a path that I will walk alone if necessary. We can no longer lower our heads and simply obey. The only thing I ask is that you protect the Earth in the meantime. Vegeta then responds, <sighs> This time I won't go with you, otherwise Bulma will get even more mad. But I hope you make it. Goku then confidently says, I'll find a way. Gohan still dissatisfied says, Dad, I think, I think I should think better about this. Goku slaps Gohan on the shoulder and says, you don't have to worry if something happens to me. I still have you and Goten to take care of your mother, right? At this point, Gohan lowers his head and says, <sighs> It's okay, Dad. Good luck in your journey. Goku then uses his teleportation and disappears. As Beerus has not returned yet, Goku's first target would be the nearest universe. After all, there were also a destroyer god Champa, Beerus' brother. Goku had learned to use his god killer power to travel between universes without difficulty, so he could transition between one and another universe and in this way, Goku decides to go to universe 6. Meanwhile, in Champa's palace, we see Vados watching as Champa eats hundreds of bowels of food that he had gone to planet Earth from his universe to fetch. And Vados tries to warn him by saying, Mr. Champa, if you keep eating like this, you end up exploding. Champa then says, Shut up, woman! 
He soon brings another bell. Panos obeys and sees that there is no point of warning him, and so he goes on for a while. Meanwhile, we can observe a small planet where Goku had just arrived. He wanted to meet someone he knew, but he could feel the presence, but he could not locate it. In the distance, we see Hit watching, and then Hit says, Why do I feel Goku's key? What are you doing here, Goku? Do you want to find me again? <laughs> How interesting. I think I'll ask in person. Goku walks across that plane until he hears a familiar voice. Hey, son, Goku. How long has it been? Goku looks to the side and answers. <laughs> At last I found you. Hit then comes over and asks, What are you doing here? Came here to fight me again? Another round that you would like to lose? Goku responds, Actually, I came here to fight your god of destruction. Hit then says, Oh, I understand. So you finally decided to become a god hunter, have you? Oh, I see. So you decided to become a bounty hunter like me. Have you? Goku responds, That's not it. Just tell me how to find him. And stay out of my way. That didn't even look like the Goku we know anymore. The coldness and anger in his gaze made him dangerous and unpredictable. Hit responds, <laughs> You changed, Goku. But as it is, I think I owe you one. I'll tell you how to find him. Just travel to the center of the universe. When you're there, concentrate and try to feel the energy of destruction. If you find it, you'll know you've found Champa. Goku responds, Thanks. I'll be right then. Later, Goku says goodbye to Hit, and they go towards their destination. Goku arrives at the center of the universe, and there he begins to meditate. To concentrate until he feels the energy of destruction and then go towards it. Arriving there, he finds Vados and when he sees Goku, Vados asks, What are you doing here, Goku? Goku responds, I came to defeat Champa. Vados says, He is sleeping. I can help with anything. Goku responds, Wake him up. And then seeing how serious Goku is, Vados decides to do as he asks. Champa wakes up furious and runs towards Goku to find out what was going on. And when he gets there, Goku starts to say, You arrogant gods! You don't understand how to value the power they have. And that's why I'm here. To correct your transgressions like gods. Champa is furious and wants to go after Goku. Vados then says, Mr. Champa, you better watch out. There's something different with his eyes. Goku then says, Vados, Take us to a place where we can fight. Vados then hits her staff on the ground and teleports the two to the empty world. And so the two are face to face. Champa asks, What do you want? Goku responds with a smile on his face. I want to defeat you. Just that. Champa laughs. <laughs> defeat me? Goku answers. And now it all starts. I'll end you. Goku heads towards him, and Champa goes towards Goku, and an intense glow of a flash takes over the air. A confrontation between Champa and Goku. Goku is furious with the gods, and when he sees Champa going towards him, he activates his god killer transformation. At this moment, Champa watches and sees the strange form that Goku obtained, and then Champa screams, Hey Goku! Where did you get that form from? You couldn't do this before! Goku then responds, this transformation is something I got specially to face the gods. Champa then laughs. <laughs> Dude, you still haven't figured it out, have you? Goku is confused and responds. What do you mean I didn't notice? Champa then says. This way you are is something different from what you think. The more you use it, the more it takes away your lifespan. <laughs> you are sacrificing yourself absolutely for nothing. <laughs> Goku looks down at his hand and takes a deep breath. And in thoughts, he says, I don't know if it's true, but even if it is, it's too late. I will use it anyway, even if in the end I ended up dying. Goku then looks at Champa and says, That doesn't matter. What really matters is that I can finish you off. 
Jumper then responds, Boy, you can try. At this moment, Jumper disappears and appears behind Goku. He has his Akai ready to exterminate Goku, who strikes his hand, causing the attack to dissipate. Jumper spins around and lands a punch on Goku's face, who goes backwards. And with his tense aura, he strikes the air and goes towards Jumper. Vados, who was watching everything, is impressed with how powerful Goku is. After all, now he's able to fight on equal footing against the God of Destruction. Goku exchanges blows with Champa, and everything that exists around them is destroyed in an instant. Champa starts to get it out of breath, but he doesn't find gaps in Goku's defense, and after thinking it would be a simple fight, he's starting to regret it. Champa then says, <coughs> I have no choice but to use my secret weapon. At this point, Champa raises his hand and starts gathering energy for an attack. Goku, who had been sent away with an attack, recovers quickly and says, I'm not going to give you a chance to do whatever you're thinking. Vados then seeing this massive energy that Champa gathers screams, Mr. Champa, don't do that! This amount of energy will destroy this entire solar system! Goku quickly flies towards them, but the energy takes on unimaginable proportions, and not only is the solar system in danger, but the entire universe, which at that moment begins to shudder and countless planets begin to disintegrate. Goku then looks around and feels the energy of the entire universe. At this moment, Goku says, All right, you can come with everything! Champa throws the energy sphere that was similar to a Hakai, but it was absurdly giant. All the planets that are around him starts to disappear. Stars are thrown away from that absurd force. It's going with everything on top of Goku who stretches his arm then to block that attack with his hands. Goku concentrates, and when that powerful energy approaches and is about to touch him, it disappears causing Goku to understand absolutely nothing. At this point, Goku is confused and says, Huh? But what was that? Where did attack go? And then Goku realizes Champa is behind him, saying, So you let your guard down, as planned. I want to see you escape from this, Hakai! Champa fires a Hakai at close range, hitting Goku. Not because he received all the energy of destruction directly into his body. But Goku resists and manages to contain it by making it pass through his body and focus on the palm of his hand. At this point, Goku sighs and says, Oof, that was very clever, and it's a pity it didn't work. But then throws that Hakai towards Champa, who is hit, but the attack has no effect. However, it was not all. Goku teleports and appears in front of the God of Destruction, and with an extremely powerful concentrated key in his hand, he unleashes an attack by piercing Champa's chest that begins to agonize and says, You will never be able to, <laughs> to kill a god! Goku then looks at him with a serious and somber look and says, Yes, I can, because I am a god killer! Goku, with his hand inside Champa's chest, used it as an attack he got with his transformation, something similar to the Akai, but effective against the gods. And when shooting inside Champa's body, it disintegrates from the middle inside out. At this very moment, Goku's transformation ends and he begins to fall. Vados, who is right next to him, quickly grabs him and takes him to safety and starts tending to his wounds. A while passes until Goku wakes up. He's scared and can't understand where he is or how he got there until Vados appear next to him and he says, What do you want here? Do you want to get revenge for me breaking up the Champa? She answers, That's not it. I treated your wounds and stayed here with you while you healed. Goku asks, How long have I been unconscious? And she responds, Well, let's see. In human time, you were here for about two weeks. Goku is amazed at what he heard and said, I need to get out of here. I need to go after another god. Vados then says, That won't be so easy. You killed a deity, and soon you will have to explain yourself to the great Zeno. Goku then says, I don't owe anyone an explanation. The gods, the angels, you always think you can manipulate everything however you want. But now it won't be like that anymore. Vados says, I don't know what your motivations are, but I would like to follow you. Goku doesn't understand what she means and asks, Why do you want to follow me? She answers, I see that you're not the same Goku as before, and I'm curious to know how you will destroy the gods. I want to be around. Goku says, Do whatever you want, but if you try to stop me, I'll fight you too. Vados then says, Don't worry, I just want to watch. Goku then responds, Whatever. Meanwhile, at Zeno's Daishikan's palace, he meets with Zeno-sama to tell him what happened. 
and when approaching Daishi Kansas. Lord Zeno, Son Goku destroyed a god of destruction. This was a very reckless thing to do. What will you do about it? Zeno then responds, I won't do anything. We really needed to replace the current gods. If Goku gets rid of them, at least we don't have to erase them. Daishikun answers, And of course, Zeno-sama, I understand. And the high priest bows to the great Zeno and leaves the palace. Outside the palace, we see huge rocks with spheres on top. But in one of them, one of the spheres is off, while the others emit a glow, each one representing a universe and its respective god of destruction. However, number 6 is off. That is, Universe 6 was collapsing after all. With one of its gods exterminated, the balance has been compromised. Meanwhile, we observe Goku being accompanied by Vados that decided to follow on his journey. Goku is currently roaming the cosmos to find a way to go in search of a new target. To go on a search of a new god so that he can face him. And so, his journey continues. Goku's thoughtful, but even full of doubts, there are no more ways to go back on his decision. After all, he had already become a god killer, because he already used his power to kill a god so there were no more choices it needed to continue his path. Vados asks, Son Goku, what is your motivation? Goku says nothing. Vados tries to create a dialogue but does not get answers. However, Vados sees that Goku is too weak and says, Mr. Goku, how about we stop on some planet for a meal? At that moment, Goku's stomach starts to rumble, and he decides to stop. The universes are now in his hands. Goku and Vados will go on a great journey in search of the gods. And Goku wants to get rid of the burden of being a mere puppet. Goku and Vados are traveling the universe together. Vados obtained the cosmic cube so they could travel through space without worry. Goku is eating because he hasn't eaten in a while. And he's dying of hunger. However, Goku is different Goku, is not the same after everything he's faced. Upon obtaining the form of a god killer, Goku is taken by hatred and his spirit just wants to achieve his goals, to make the gods stop using mortals for their own benefit. Goku has become colder, his personality is more like of a Saiyan, and after meeting his father, Goku realized that to end injustices, he should let the Saiyan within him speak louder. At this moment, Goku is just a being who seeks to find freedom and reach where no one else can. He needs to fight the gods even if it ends up corrupting him or destroying him. But one way or another, he needs to fight. Vados is increasingly intrigued by Goku. Because she realizes that every second he gets more powerful without training, Wherever he exceeds his limits, he goes further beyond, as if each breath his power is renewed, thus making him stronger. Vados begins to see Goku with different eyes and admires him a little more every moment. And after Goku gets rid of Champa, she sees him as someone capable of battling the gods. The journey continues and Vados decides to ask, Mr. Goku, where are we going now? Have you thought about what your next step might be? Goku looks at her with a cold gaze and responds, It doesn't matter. Let's go anywhere. I still need to recover my energies to go after the gods. Vados then says, Wouldn't you rather talk to Zenosama and try to explain yourself? Goku responds, And what good would that do? Vados then says, Probably maybe that would help your mission. And he responds, I don't think it would solve anything. Vados goes on to say, if Zeno decides to erase you, then there won't even be a way to get where you need to be. Goku then becomes thoughtful and then responds, Well then, let's talk to Zeno-sama. Vados then decides to take Goku to Zeno's palace so that they can try to find a way out before Zeno decides to erase Goku from starting to hurt the gods. Meanwhile in Zeno's palace, the high priest is observing each universe in some kind of technological device and Zeno is playing with a board game. A game very similar to chess, but people are puppets similar to the gods of destruction of each universe. Daishikan approaches Zenos and says, Lord Zeno, Son Goku is coming to us. Zeno responds, Oh, that's great! It's been a long time since I last met him. The high priest then responds, Really? Well, he will arrive soon. As soon as he arrives, I will bring you to his presence. Zeno says, Alright, I'd like to talk to him. Sometime later, Goku arrives along with Vados, and the high priest was at the entrance apparently waiting for them. Daishikun says, Welcome, son Goku. I'll take you to Zenosama. Goku looks at Vados who just makes a sign with his hand, demonstrating that he didn't know anything, 
and the two start walking following Dai Shikan. They arrived at the hall where Zeno was. At that moment, Zeno gets excited and floats towards Goku, shaking his head. Zeno seems to be happy, but Goku only shows seriousness, and suddenly the mood changes. Zeno asks, Goku, are you not happy to see me? And he responds, It's not that, it's just... At the moment, I don't know what's going on anymore. Zeno then asks, Goku, well, I have a mission for you. Goku is surprised and responds, what? What kind of mission? At that moment, a gloomy climate takes over everything. Valio starts to shake and a drop of sweat runs down her face. Zeno approaches Goku's face and looks deeply into his eyes and says, Destroy all gods of destruction. Goku is extremely surprised and Daishikan starts talking. The gods of destruction are no longer qualified for the position they hold. They are neglecting their duties and always end up harming the development of the universes. The great Zenosama heard of Son Goku's desire to stop the gods of destruction and so he decided to make it official. At this point, you have the freedom to face and defeat each one of them. You are now officially a god killer. Goku for a brief moment smiles. Fados observes with a serious face. After all, she doesn't quite understand what's going on. At this moment, the high priest continues to say, Vados will go with you and accompany you on your journey. I hope you can accomplish the mission you so desire. And after accomplishing it, the great Zenosama will choose the new gods. At this moment, in respect, Goku kneels and says, I will do this. Vados somehow feels happy because she will be able to accompany Goku. But not even she knows why she was happy. And then the meeting ends. Goku says goodbye to Zeno and Vados and he goes on his journey. Goku is sitting inside Kubo with his arms crossed. At this point, he's even more motivated to find the gods. And so he says to Vados, Now let's find the next gods of destruction. We have a big mission to accomplish. Where should we start? Now where should we start? Vados then responds, At this moment, we are close to Universe 8. We can try to find the story from there, and then officially the mission will be started. Goku responds, Okay, let's go. In the Universe 8, Liquids, the god of that universe was calm on a planet where he could take advantage of doing nothing. After all, working was not his strong point. However, the sky starts to darken, an extremely loud bang makes the planet shudder. And from the middle of the clouds, a cube appears. Inside the cube, Goku and Vados approach. Liquid watches and waits for them to land. When they land, Liquid approaches and asks, Hey, aren't you the warrior from Universe 7? What are you doing here? Goku then responds, I came here to defeat you. Liquid starts laughing and says, <laughs> How funny. You come all this way to tell jokes. Now, seriously, why did you come here? Goku responds, are you seeing me laugh? At this moment, Liquid gets angry, closes his fists and stares with a serious look at Goku. And at this moment, he says, You really think that a mortal trash like you is capable of defeating me, a deity? Don't you dare to say nonsense anymore. Goku responds, So what do you think you're testing whether your theory is right? Come over here and I'll show you what I can do. Liquid is serious. His aura starts to emanate from Goku, then continue his taunts. For a lazy god, you even have a very strong aura. Let's fight a little. I want to see how far I can get. Goku smiles and Liquid gets even angrier. At this moment he says, Why do you want to face me so badly? It even looks like you're sure you can win. Goku says, Really, I'm sure I can win this fight. And I want to fight you for a simple reason. That all the gods of destruction have already caused enough damage in this universe. Now it's time to make them taste a little of their own poison. But then starts walking slowly. And Goku screams, Come on! Let's start this fight! Are you scared? At that instant, Liquid disappears, reappearing in front of Goku. Hitting an extremely powerful punch in his face, throwing him away. Goku lands on the ground but quickly recovers and gets back up. At this moment, Goku says, Finally, we can start. Goku then transforms into God Killer, and his aura creates an intense glow that makes everything start to shiver. Liquid looks at that appearance and says, 
Oh, now I get it. <laughs> I will finish off here and now. To Seeing Goku in his blue form with that symbol on his chest, Liquid like understand that he was a god killer. Someone who obtained such hatred of the gods that he was able to reach an unimaginable level. Arriving thus at an unparalleled level of skills, Liquir knew that the fight would be more difficult than he ever imagined. But he was not afraid, because he was still a deity. But before the fight begins, he asks, Goku, does the great Zeno-sama knows you're hunting the gods? And Goku looks at him calmly with his murderous gaze, and then a light breeze makes his hair sway in the wind this instant. He says, yes, Zeno-sama gave me permission. Liqui closes his hand with all his strength, his arm starts to shake, and then he closes his eyes and says, I understand. At this moment, Vados watch those two beings facing each other and admiring this moment. She murmurs, Hmm, what is going on through their heads? Liqui looks around and sees Vados in the distance, watching the confrontation, and then he says to Goku, Oh, that angel is with you, isn't she? I see Zeno has decided to get rid of us, and for one who intends to become a god slayer, even a traveling companion has been provided. Goku smiles and says, See, she's here because she wanted to come. I don't care about her. Liqui responds, It's okay. She is insignificant anyway. Very good. Let's start our fight, Lord Slayer of Gods. And Goku says, I thought you'd never ask. Let's go then! At this moment, Liqui starts to go on top of Goku with a powerful punch. Goku bends his body completely backwards, seeing the god's fist pass before his eyes. Liqui looks down in awe at Goku's speed, who shoots a juice upwards to hit the belly of the deity who with the other hand holds Goku's fist, pulling him up, and then swinging him down and throwing him. Goku into the air using your key. At this very moment, it propels itself upwards from Liquir. He spins, no, he spins in the air, dodging Goku's onslaught, hitting him in the back with a small energy sphere that explodes, creating a slight pressure in the air, causing Goku to be thrown a few meters away. Liquir gets its tail to boost and fly towards Goku. Vados observes, impressed with the start of the fight. The fight is in fact well balanced, but for a small difference, Liquid still has the advantage. Vados then says, He is really strong and has amazing skills, but can Goku really win? Liquid begins to fire a sequence of extremely strong punches, but Goku dodges without difficulty, trying to find a gap in the defense of the god, who ducks down delivering a blow with his heel, which when hitting Goku throws him hundreds of meters away. At this instant, Liquir exclaims, Now it's my chance! He propels his body in the direction that Goku threw himself in, propelling himself through the air towards the Saiyan. With his hand outstretched, he screams, Akai! And a purple sphere of energy is created in the palm of his hand. An aura takes over his body and there, at this moment, he says, Oh, you're gone! And when approaching Goku, he recovers and hits Liquid's arm, causing the energy to be thrown to the other side. Goku sees that destructive energy heading towards Vados, who stands without moving just looking at that power. Goku then touches its forehead with his fingertips and uses his teleportation to appear in front of Vados. And using his hand to strike that Hakai, hurling him up the energy sphere of destruction and thrown into space in seconds. Vados stares and Goku looks back out of the corner of his eyes and says in a serious tones, Are you okay? Vados then responds, <laughs> You didn't need to come here, I could repel it easily. Goku then says, I know that. I just don't think it's fair that you have to work hard for a fight that isn't yours. So do not worry, I will not let my guard down again. And I won't let you be in danger again. I will be here to protect you. But I don't need protection. Vados right now has reddened cheeks and is feeling ashamed. But Goku had made a kind gesture towards her even though he knew she wouldn't need protection. Goku at this point looks at Liquid and screams. Let's keep on fighting. Are you ready? Goku raises his key and his energy overflows around him. An energy dragon... No. 
Goku raises a ski and his energy overflows around him. An energy dragon begins to emerge. Being formed by his ski, Vados looks amazed at such destructive power. And Liquid is amazed too. But he has no intention of weakening and starts screaming. Ah! The god of destruction ski creates dense energy. He becomes enveloped in purple energy that begins to cover the entire environment, disintegrating everything it touches. Goku looks at him seriously, and the two fly towards each other. Goku's eyes filled with fury, Liquid's eyes completely covered by his rage, and suddenly the two begin to collide. A gigantic shockwave covers the entire planet, causing immeasurable destruction to dissipate everywhere. Vados wraps herself in an energy barrier and can't see a thing. Dust, smoke, and energy remnants cover the entire view. A few moments later, when all that smoke starts to dissipate in the distance, we see a silhouette. Then Goku's arm that has his hand bleeding, the labored breathing, the god killer form fell apart. Goku is completely naked. Looking up to see clouds over the sky, acid rain starts to, no, acid rain starts to fall, and when it touches his skin, a little smoke starts to rise where the drops fall. Goku's forehead is bruised and on his body numerous bruises are apparent. The battle has been intense, however, when we see the fallen liquid covering his own blood, we are certain Goku was the winner and he will just defeat another god. But his body was badly hurt. In his distant thoughts, Goku is watching the sky and feeling the raindrops fall on his shoulder. And in his mind, he wonders. Why did the gods bring us to this point? These incredibly powerful beings could only be good. They chose a destructive path. Goku clenches his fist and continues to say. Rrr. How many worlds have suffered from their wrath? How many races have already been exterminated by their whims? Goku looks around and says, What is the meaning of such destruction? At this moment, Goku falls to his knee. After all, he was out of energy after the battle. But Vados appears in front of him, touches his face and says, You don't need to suffer so much, Goku. Everything is about to end. You have taken one more step towards the great truth. And when you're done, you'll understand everything. At this moment, Goku passes out and everything goes dark. Far away at the ends of the universe, we see a battle taking place. Two extremely skilled warriors fight amidst the stars. Their punches are incredible. The planets around them move around them, losing their stability. And that battle was simply great. The warriors made the stars shiver, the worlds move, and even the darkness of space was lit by the glow of their energies. And the light of the universe gained darkness, with the shadow cast by their attacks. An imposing and extremely calm voice heard across the immensities, and that voice says, It finally started to happen. And another voice answers, We've waited for thousands of years, haven't we? And the other being responds with eyes full of happiness. It's time for the real destruction to begin. And the other responds and rebuild with creation itself. Those were the two primordial gods indeed. The supreme deities known as creation and destruction Two brothers who faced each other in an eternal battle, building and destroying each other, rising every second and falling at every movement. And in this moment, their battle ended at last. They realized the real battle was yet to come. Amidst the void of the cosmos, Goku and Vados travel inside his cube. Goku is exhausted after the third battle. In his mind, several doubts are rising. Everything is getting intense and confused. Vados is thoughtful. After all, she does not understand the feeling she was acquiring when traveling with Goku. Vados looks to the side and sees how Goku was feeling. But when she looks, she realizes that Goku is lying down. 
The exhaustion of the combat was so much that he had entered a deep sleep, so Vados decided to drive the cube more slowly so that he could recover the energies. Goku is in a deep sleep state and in his dreams, memories of the past consumes him. This Goku, Goku God Killer was a Goku that had emerged from another reality. In his original reality, catastrophic events made him change. This Goku had lost his friends and his family, so he was alone, completely lost. And when he was brought to that reality, he obtained the powers of a God Killer. And in his thoughts, these memories made him suffer. Vados, seeing Goku's torment, uses her staff to calm him down. A glow covers the entire cube, and in that instant, Goku's dreams are altered and he's finally able to sleep in peace. In a distance, lost amidst the frontier of universes, at the end of what we know, we see two beings wandering in through space, creation and destruction. The supreme gods travel towards infinity looking for a path that will show them the opportunity to make them find their destiny. Meanwhile, we see another universe. We can observe Jerris, goddess of destruction of the universe too, on a rocky planet. With grain planes, a frozen world, we see the destroyer deity of universe two looking around. And at this moment, she begins to reflect and says, It's been a while since in the gods of destruction we were abandoned by angels. I wonder what's going on. Where have all the angels gone? The goddess of destruction had already walked alone for a long time in thought. After all, sometime in several universes, angels abandoned their respective gods of destruction apparently for no reason. However, as everyone knows, this was yet another order from Zenosama who had lost the trust of the gods, ordering all the angels to return to their palace so that they could decide who would replace these gods after Goku exterminated them. Jerris goddess of destruction of the universe too. She's tired of being alone, and at this moment she makes a decision. She looks around her and says, I'm tired of waiting on this goddamn planet. I'll go find out what's going on myself. And so at this moment she flies off into space, and she says, I'd rather go to another world than stay here waiting. So before leaving the planet's atmosphere, she creates a small sphere of energy in her hand and says, and she leaves the atmosphere in a matter of seconds, that world disintegrates, thus disappearing. And she begins to wander through space. On the other side of the universe, inside the Vados cube, she watches Goku, but in a few moments, he starts to wake up, and when he wakes up, he asks for Vados. <sighs> Where are we? Have we arrived in another universe yet? Vados responds. Welcome back, Mr. Goku. We're already in universe 2. Here we can find a goddess of destruction. Goku then observes and responds. <sighs> How long did I sleep? Vados responds. In Earth time? Well, you slept for three days. But it looks like you've recovered. And I see you got stronger too. Lord Goku, with each fight, you become even more powerful. Goku then says to Vados. Hmm. Seems like we've wasted a lot of time, huh? And Vados responds. An important time for you to recover. Don't be rushed. Everything will be resolved at the right time. Vado stops and stares at Goku who is sitting on his legs crossed in front of him. And then Goku says, What is it? Why are you staring at me? Vado then says, You're not the Goku that belongs to this reality, are you? I see there's something different about you. Goku then responds, You're right. I don't know what happened to this reality's Goku but I was sent here to fulfill a mission for the gods. But over time, I understood that the gods are not good. Vados then continues to ask, What happened to your family in your reality? And Goku gets sad. He lowers his head and looks down. And at this moment, he responds, I had already forgotten. In fact, this whole time I just wanted to forget. But I lost them all. Vados gets extremely serious. And Goku continues to say, here in this reality, everyone's fine. Everyone was happy to see me. And it's not the same. And even though I'm here surrounded by everyone, I know I'm still alone. Right now, Vado is approaching. She bends down and touches Goku's face and says, If it's up to me, you won't be alone anymore. Vado's cheek is flushed and Goku glares at her. And suddenly the two stand up embarrassed. Some time passes and traveling through the universe, the two come across something. 
As they approached, they noticed that traveling through space was the goddess of the universe too right in front of them, close to the orbit of a nearby planet. That planet's gravity pulls the two towards it, which inevitably falls into the planet. The two take an incredibly powerful hit, destroying everything they hit before falling. And when falling to the ground, a gigantic explosion takes over of everything. The goddess and Goku recover and stands up. But there is the goddess approaches and says to Goku, You asshole! What does she think you're doing? Why did you do it? And without much talk, Goku uses his god killer transformation and decides to go for it anyway. The goddess then says, I see you don't want to talk, do you? Alright, let's get this over with. At this moment, she raises her arms and gigantic purple ones are attracted. By slamming their hands together, those gigantic bowders spin Goku in the air, creating an incredibly loud bang. Goku, who was stuck in the middle of those gigantic stones, he releases his energy and makes them explode. Goku emerges from thousands of debris. The wind makes his hair sway and his aura emanates an incredibly powerful energy. The goddess is surprised to see and is stunned by what she is in front of her. At this point, she asks, Who sent you? Why are you so powerful? Goku responds, Zeno-sama, he's the one who sent me, and I am powerful enough only by my desire to kill all the gods. At this moment, then she calms down, takes a deep breath, and begins to fly slowly upwards. And after that, she says, And then fine, if you want to destroy me, give it a try. She propels herself towards Go, begin to exchange numerous attacks. The battle becomes more and more intense. Goku holds her by the leg and begins to spin, throwing her towards the mountains that, when they collide with her, are left in pieces. You can see explosions happening everywhere. That world starts to crumble in a matter of minutes, and everything is being destroyed. Spheres of energy of destruction are thrown from all sides, but Goku manages to repel them all with his fists wrapped by his own energy. The battle becomes more and more destructive. Meanwhile, in Xenosama's palace, Daishi Khan approaches Xenos who was watching the fights on screen. And this second he says, Mr. Zeno, looks like Goku is doing pretty well against the gods. He has already defeated some and already entered into combat with another. Zeno responds, Goku really is amazing, isn't he? Looks like this is all going to end faster than we thought. Daishikun agree universes, we see two entities closer and closer to the reality we know. Looking for a doubt for a long time, and soon the beginning of the end would begin. Gohan and Goku are transformed into Super Saiyans, one in front of the other, ready to start their fight. At this moment, Goku is really impressed. It has been a long time since he had to face Gohan in a fight and he wanted to see how strong his son had become. Goku is the first to attack and goes towards Gohan with everything he's got. Gohan dodges, but still gets hit by a kick from Goku that makes him stagger. Gohan looks at Goku and says, Dad, you really are incredibly powerful. I don't know if I can beat you, but I know I can hit you. Gohan closes his fist and throws an incredible punch. Goku dodges and then receives a sharp kick that throws him away. The battle is starting to get interesting though. In another corner of the planet, Vegeta is alone in his training. Vegeta concentrates his key and begins to transform into a Super Saiyan. He starts delivering several blows in the air, hitting a rock which disintegrates. Then Vegeta says, I can't lose to Kakarot. I need to get stronger. Everyone is training hard. The Z warriors were looking towards the tournament that took place in nine days. Caroline is training when suddenly number 18 arrives and says, Caroline, I bought you some juice. Come and freshen up. You're training so hard. Caroline goes to number 18 and takes the juice and says, Oh my, this juice is wonderful. 18 says, Yes, I made it especially for you. And with a death glare, she says, If I lose the tournament prize after I gave up winning the television at Boma's house, I'll kill you. Curlin in panic's response, uh, 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 No, my love, I'm going to win. You'll see. So Curlin goes back to training. Meanwhile, in the palace of the ancient gods, time is questioning. My brothers and sisters, it is no longer time to send our warrior to Earth. 
because there on Earth there are only nine days left to start the tournament. In that instant, Chaos responds. I would have already sent him and he wouldn't even have to go through this tournament, you idiots. So reality says, I already warn you that he can lose. Be realistic. My brother tells the time. Call up my brothers. Our warrior is ready to go. At that moment, Danketsu says, I will not let them down. I will defeat this beyond our Goku. At that moment, the ancient gods put their hands towards Danketsu. A strong light begins to emerge, and Danketsu is slowly teleported to the planet Earth. Arriving on planet Earth, Danketsu is surprised, as he has never seen such beautiful planet before. Danketsu is impressed with the place. Then he begins to wonder why the ancient gods want the destruction of the bean from this place. He shakes his head and starts to say, I need to stay focused. My masters gave me an order. And at that moment, he passes by a coffee shop and stops because he had never seen or smelled anything like that before. He stops and looks at what would be a cupcake. When you don't, he observes that Videl leaves the cafeteria and she passes by him and notices that he is standing there watching things. Then Videl goes on and says, Hey, how's it going? Don Katsu answers, Yeah, I'm just admiring how perfect everything here seems to be. So Videl says, Do you want to taste something from around here? And then he says, Yes. And points to a muffin. Videl invites him for coffee and then spends hours talking. In the meantime, we're back to training the Sea Warriors. Goku and Gohan continue to fight an intense and arduous battle. Goku palms his son with several punches and kicks Gohan counterattacks using his speed to distract Goku, who is impressed and says, Gohan, my son, congratulations, you are really strong. You don't even look like it, but my little boy, you are strong. Gohan smiles and continues to fight as he doesn't want to lose to his father. Then Gohan stops in the air and asks, Dad. You know, Dad, having a child makes life so different. Goku then responds, Yeah, Chichi was also strange when very hungry, though. Then her belly started to get huge, and when I least expected it, she started screaming, and then I heard you cry. <laughs> and that was my experience. Gohan is horrified by what happened to his father and begins to think about Videl, on the other side of the planet in the cafeteria. Videl sneezes, looks around, and says, <laughs> Someone's talking about me. Then she smiles. Danketsu doesn't understand why she sneezed and said someone was talking about her, so he asks, Videl, you can hear what people say from around the world? Videl responds, It's more than that, and of course not. It's just an expression we use when we sneeze. Videl says goodbye and says she needs to go, but if he wants to meet her tomorrow, she would be there too. She walks away and then leaves. So Danketsu questions the old gods. My lords, why do you want destruction? The beings on this planet are not so strong and it doesn't even seem like a threat to our majesties. At this moment he hears a voice. You have duties on earth. Fulfill them and you will be well rewarded. He goes to the big arena where the tournament will take place and registers. At this time he's faced with Mr. Satan and Mr. Boo. And he sees Mr. Satan walking with his hat down and says, What a bummer. I could wipe out all these warriors right now. <laughs> Mr. Boo answers, More Mr. Satan, weren't you just shaking and hiding? Mr. Satan answers, uh, But of course not. I was just, um, training a new power. When Danketsu passes through it and a very powerful energy hangs in the air, Mr. Satan feels oppressed by that pressure. When Danketsu passes through them, a very powerful energy hangs in the air. Mr. Satan feels oppressed by that pressure and hides behind Boo, then asks, What is your name? Then Ketsu says, It doesn't matter. I hear what you said, and I'd love to beat you up in the tournament. Mr. Satan, tremendous, responds, I'll be waiting for you there. <laughs> so then Ketsu continues on his way, and Mr. Satan, tremendous, says to Boo, Will you help me, Mr. Boo? Please help me. At that moment, Boo looks from the corner of Mr. Satan and answers more, and of course!
course. I already told you that I would defeat everyone and let you defeat me with just one punch. Mr. Satan feels relieved and finally manages to breathe normally. Meanwhile, in Piccolo's training, he continues to concentrate and meditate. He thinks, I need to improve my Makanko Sapo technique. It's not complete yet. I need to improve this technique. I want to surprise everyone, especially Gohan. Curlin manages to hone his most powerful attack, Kienzan. Number 18 seen Curlin's effort says, He has a chance to win. I will finally have a television bigger than Bulma's. Tenshihan is full steam ahead training when he comes across an unusual being. He comes across Dunketsu and says, You, you have a strange presence. Dunketsu looks at that being and sees that he also has an unusual power. And he says, where are you from? Sometimes I feel a little confused. But more accurately, I'm going to ask you, what is your name? Chihan answers his name. And Tonketsu continues to say, <laughs> You're not who I'm looking for. You know, a Goku guy? I don't know if it's right, but I need to destroy him. Tenshin Han then starts to say, You're a very strange being. I don't know if you're good or bad, but if you want to destroy one of my friends, I'll have to stop you. Dunketsu answers. Hmm. Maybe I can fight you and put an end to my boredom. And when he... G so he goes to attack Tenshinhan. Then he releases all his energy made by the union of all the old gods. Tenshinhan jumps in the air and flies away from there because the pressure of those powers is impressive and he wouldn't stand a chance. So Tenshihan goes to Goku's house. He arrives there and doesn't find anyone. At that moment, he sees Boma washing the dishes and asks, Boma? No, no, it's Chi-Chi, bro. At that moment, he sees Chi-Chi washing the dishes and asks, Chi-Chi, where's Goku? Chi-Chi responds, I don't know. I don't know. He's training with Gohan. He doesn't even remember that he exists. Chi-Chi keeps saying, He went over there and points to the side towards Tenshihan, who immediately flies away. He finds Goku and Gohan training and says, Goku, I need to talk to you. Goku loses concentration and takes a kick from Gohan that sends him flying towards the ground, making a hole that where he had been thrown. At that time, Gohan sees and asks, Dad, are you okay? Did I hurt you? Goku smiling responds, <laughs> No, Gohan, I just lost my concentration a little bit. Wait just a second. No, Gohan, <laughs> I just lost my concentration a little bit. Just wait here. Oh, we'll continue fighting later. Goku uses his teleportation and goes to Tenshinhan and says, What happened, Tenshinhan? The terrified Tenshinhan says, I found a very powerful being that didn't seem to be from this planet. He almost faced me, but I ran away from it. And from the looks of it, to me, he has no sense of right or wrong. He just had a bewildered and cold look. That being's very powerful, Goku. Maybe we'll have problems with him on the loose out of here. Goku calmly responds. There, there, Tenshihan. If he causes problems, we'll fix it, okay? Now there are only eight days left for the tournament. To be continued. What surprises will appear in this tournament? Is Dunketsu good or evil? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you already expose it here in your comments so that we can enter into that crazy debate. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.